Hey guys, it's Elena. Today we're going to be moving away from Procreate for the time being and exploring a different app called iColorama, which is not anything I am affiliated with, but it's something that some members of our Facebook group have been experimenting with. And so I've been seeing the artwork that they've been posting, which is really interesting because they can put these textures on top of the artwork, which is not something that you can really do in Procreate. So I wanted to dabble a bit in that today and take you with me so that we can see what we can come up with. So let's go ahead and get started. So iColorama is an app that you can download from the App Store. It's not free. I believe that it's $4.99 in the USA, um, but I downloaded it a few years ago, so I'm not quite sure. But um, I'm not a huge fan of the name. It's a little bit cheesy but it's got some interesting effects. So we're just gonna go ahead and open it up and have a look at what we can do. So I've uploaded some of my artwork from Procreate that I made in Procreate with my Painterly brush set. And if you're interested in the Painterly brush set, the link for that is in the description down below. So what I'm going to do is just import some of those finished artworks that I made in Procreate, some of them from previous tutorials that I've done, and I'm going to add a texture on top of them to make them look a bit more dimensional, like impasto, because in Procreate, it's not very easy to create an impasto effect, and my painterly brushes do their absolute best to try to bring this effect to Procreate. However, it might be really interesting to try and put additional texture on top of that in this iColorama app. So with that in mind, I've got, I've got the app open here and to import an image that I've saved to my image gallery, I'm going to select this here, image from library. And so now you can see some of the images that I have been saving from previous tutorials that I've done. So this is a tutorial that I've done um, called Palette Knife Roses, and I'll just put the link to that up here in the corner in case you're interested in watching how I made this. So this is the finished artwork and I'm importing it. So I'm just going to import it at the top screen resolution. You probably want to do that as well if you're interested in printing, especially. So selecting that, we've now got the artwork in iColorama. And I've got to stop myself from doing some of the things I do in Procreate, like doing like that to make it go big again and double tap for undo. I'm not as used to working in this app, but it's always fun to try something new. So in order to add the effects, there are a lot of options up here that if you have this app, you can play with it. There are lots of different sort of color stuff that you can do. There's some interesting things you know it's a lot of crazy stuff and this is fun to mess around with but what we're really going to focus on is under effects and there are a lot of different effects that you can use but the one that we are going to do is called rays so going into that this looks pretty bad and at first when i saw that everyone was using this app i downloaded it and i tried this out and i was like that that looks horrible, I'm not gonna use that. But actually, it's a bit inconspicuous, but down here in the corner, you've got these double squares. And if you tap on that, you have a lot of different options of different kinds of raised looks that you can get. And I think out of all of these, that one is just like, I don't even know. <laughs> but uh, I think my favorites are number two and number four because they're a bit more subtle and that doesn't look super subtle right now. But you can you have these options over in the left-hand corner to make it more subtle. So on this one, you've got opacity that you can take it down or up, and then the intensity. So that's really where you can make it less crazy. Then the angle, I believe this is the angle of where the paint is supposedly poofing up. So you can kind of adjust that to however you like. And I think that I am actually going to go with number two, though. I think that what you can do with this app is that you can do like two, probably max, two of these different filters, and then it starts to get a bit crazy and not super good looking. 
So this is number two, probably my favorite. And I think for me, I really like to bring the size down quite far. So I think this is the size of the shadows, but I like to bring it down fairly far like that. Sometimes it takes a minute to update the view. So you can see that up here, it's, it's a bit unrealistic and crazy looking. But as you bring it down, it gets more realistic. So I like it down right about 20 something. And I'm going to keep the opacity all the way up. Maybe I'll just put that up just a bit. And so if we are happy with how this looks, once, I've, once we've done all the adjustments that we want, then up here in this top right corner, you've got a check mark to apply that filter. So this has not been applied yet. So now we are applying that and this is what we're working with now. So what I've been experimenting with is doing the raise effect twice with two different filters. So if I do that again, that looks terrible, but we're gonna go in here and we're gonna choose another effect and then we're just gonna mess around with that as well. So I'm just testing out number one just to see if there's anything we can use here. I think I'm gonna go to number four and just use this with a very, very subtle intensity as well. And I keep zooming in to just kind of see how it's looking. But I think I'm happy with, with that. You can see that it's not a lot of texture that I'm adding. I just don't want to go overboard because I want this to look like a realistic paint, but I don't want to make it look like something digital. And I think it will if I just go overboard with the effects. So having adjusted that, I think I am okay happy with that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the check mark on that one. And I think that we're pretty much done with this. Again, we did most of the work in Procreate already in a previous tutorial. So this is literally just the last step if you want to add a bit more dimension. And if you, you know, are okay with buying this app, this is not an app that I am selling or I'm affiliate to or anything like that. I don't get anything if you buy it. So that is 100% up to you whether you want to buy this. I just wanted to, you know, show it just as another option. So let's go ahead and save that. So this share button up in the top corner, I'm just gonna save it as a JPEG to my iPad. And I think I'm gonna just do one more. So I'm going to do image from library again. And we're gonna go with this Van Gogh that I did in another previous tutorial. And I will also put the link for that up in the top here. And I'll just import that at the highest resolution. And again, we're going to effects and raise. And that's actually a bit interesting on this one. This is the number one preset. And I think I might go with that and just make it a bit smaller and less intense. But I'm actually really liking how all these little brush strokes look. It almost looks like they're indented, but some of them are raising up. So yeah, I don't know. It's not 100% realistic, but it's really interesting to, to just try it with a bit more texture. I'm actually really happy with that, so I'm going to apply that. And then I might try one more filter. That's obviously yucky. But let's just try it with a bit more. Yeah, I think that is that is pretty interesting. So I'm gonna keep it as that. And one more thing I wanted to show you while we're in here as well is that you, you also have a whole range of other effects in here that I'm not showing you today, but there is the texture and you can actually do a paper texture, but this already has a paper texture on it. So we're not really going to keep that. But going to this, you can look at the different presets of paper textures that they have, which is quite a few and you can choose, and then you can adjust the size because obviously all of these are looking really big. 
but you can adjust the size and the opacity of that paper texture. So that's just one more thing that you can do, but I'm not a huge fan of that. So we're going to get rid of that. Okay, so I'm gonna save this as well. And I'm going to just do one more without any talking. And then we will go ahead and just do a little bit of zooming in on some of this to really show you what it looks like. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of close up of some of this. So I really like how it's bringing out the texture from the Procreate brushes that's already been put in here and it's just making it a lot more intense. And I have not tried printing anything that has been manipulated in iColorama, so it would be an interesting it would be interesting to try and see how that prints out. And I can't promise that it prints well, but it would be really interesting to try it out and see how that looks instead of just printing it straight from Procreate. But um, just a few more details here. You can make it as subtle as you like. that's about it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this was helpful to you. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing and I will see you next time. Bye!